out my new uh, breakfast sandwich machine. I'm sure most people that watch this, my videos, see me installing Android head units. And I'm sure every one of you is like, man, I wonder what he has for breakfast. And I have a cone temporizer door. I have a, so, I use this little breakfast like that. Beat up a little bit here. So, this is a dumb video, but... Uh, I saw this on Reddit one day, and someone said it worked, and someone said it didn't work. But I got one, and it worked great. But then, I had it for a year or two, and this little piece started flaking, so I bought a new one. It's like 23 bucks. And this one's improved with the timer. Hamilton Beach. Breakfast sandwich maker. So it makes a little knockoff egg McMuffin, right? Got my trusty Jeep knife. That didn't work. Best results. Fresh egg whites only. <laughs> Make any sense? Oh, don't use. I see. Use an actual egg. Don't use that stuff you pour in there. That makes sense. A little quick start guide. A fairly large instruction manual for a relatively simple product. Here's a bunch of pictures of other stuff we can do. That looks like pancakes with eggs and sausage. That's like eggs and tomatoes, maybe. Here's what I'm gonna do. Not the bagel. I'm gonna do English muffin, cheese, bacon, egg. I'll pretend like I'm gonna, oh yeah, one day I'm gonna use peppers or help, but no. Somebody's at my doorbell. All right, now the bird's squawking because the doorbell rang. Bird, first pet in the world. Don't ever get a bird. Alright, so this is fairly self explanatory product. Small, my loud counter space is going to be taken up. That bird sucks. So, we got a little Hot Surfers logo, we got our Hamilton Beach logo, we got power, a little time sale, my old one didn't have this timer, so that's good, my old one just had one light, so it has two lights, that's good, alright, so basically, neither one of these are buttons, these are buttons. Uh, the old one, you had to plug it in and then unplug it. That's the only way to turn it off. Basically, you plug it in. Start with nothing in here, right? These come out and they're dishwasher safe, which is great. So I'm going to wash this before I make eggs. Because I don't want to die from poison. Right, so that's how you get poison. Uh, and these go in the hand wash if you want. But for me, hand wash means throw it right in the trash. Dishwasher, that's the only way to go. Same thing with clothes. I'm not hand washing clothes, I'm not hand washing dishes. This isn't exactly, this is a lazy man breakfast maker, right? I'm a lazy man. So, you got your three little categories here, right? I'm gonna take an English muffin, egg, I get some pre made bacon, put it in the microwave, and slice of cheese. Basically, you plug it in and let it preheat. This light should probably go off when it's preheated. I'll read the manual for that. Bottom, put your English muffin, bacon, slice of cheese. Close this guy down. Right, that's why I wasn't. English muffin, bacon, cheese. Close it. 
cracker egg, put it in here. English muffin top. Close it down, let it cook five minutes. Let's set a little timer here. Done, you open this up. Slide this little guy out. Open this up. Open this up. Sandwich comes out. Take it out. It's going to be scalding hot, so don't eat it just yet. But I'll make one like that. I got to watch this thing first. And then I'll show you how to make one in case you can't figure out how to make a bacon egg and cheese sandwich. But for my money, it's pretty great. 20 bucks. Super simple. Relatively healthy. Yeah, according to this, you can make pancakes in there. I don't think that's right. Maybe it's like a pre-made pancake or something. I would think a bagel's too big. English muffin works, so. Alright, so I'll show you. There's a little direction right there. Right, so you put your meat in the bottom. They're leaving cheese out. Very convenient. Yeah, you can see the dishwasher safe. Alright, so I'm going to wash this guy up. And then I will make a sandwich probably tomorrow. Alright, it's the next day, January 5th. Looks like I should want to. That one didn't really matter. Point being, here's how I make my little breakfast sandwich, right? I get these English muffins because they're pre split, right? I don't want to take the time to have to cut some. Got your eggs. Here's what I was talking about. Fully cooked bacon, right? Put the microwave. Uh, what's this thing? Two slices, 10 seconds. So I put two slices every 20 seconds. And I get some like pre sliced up little cheese squares like this. Because right? they fit good. Alright, there's my breakfast guy. Here my microwave beeping when I'm cooking my bacon. And it's not very long cord, so that's like the only complaint I would have on this thing. Let me this whole rig over. Alright, like I said, so I put these through the dishwasher. You can see they're still a little wet. My dishwasher sucks. Dry them off right quick. Directions. Basically, plug it in, let it preheat. And here it says the lightly spray rings. Lightly spray rings with non stick cooking spray for you. Just use some standard pan. I don't think the bottom really matters. Alright, so as soon as I plug it in, if I get the right cord in. Alright, so it beeps as soon as you plug it in. See the red light came on. There we go. So now this yellow light, this green light will come on whenever it's ready to cook. So, 1.19 p.m. Oh, I won't focus on my watch. So it shouldn't take but a minute or two. In case you're wondering why I'm eating a breakfast sandwich at 1.19. You know me. I'm built pretty much exactly like Terry Crews. And I saw him on that Hot One show saying that he was fasting. I googled it and apparently he doesn't eat anything until 2 p.m. every day. He only eats food from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. every day. 
So, I figured I would do 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. every day. Because we're built exactly the same way. Alright, so while that's closing that. Alright, so my bacon is sort of crispy from the microwave screen. Put paper down, microwave it so it's a little crisp where you can see it. But I'll cook it some more. So it's been about a minute. Plate ready to go. Eggs muffins are already split. One egg. Dog's still whining because she smells bacon. According to this, it takes about five minutes to preheat. So that might get a little boring. Green lights on. All right, so we're good to go. All right, it's a real simple process here. All right, so the lid up. It's all the black stuff's hot except for this piece right here. But everything else black's hot, so don't touch it. But your bottom, uh, your bottom uh, English muffin in there. Then you don't want your, you want your cheese. There, right, but you don't want the cheese getting stuck to this black part. So you want the cheese on here, and the bacon is a little barrier. Open this stuff. There, I'm gonna use two slices of cheese, two little cheese squares, because uh, I'm so healthy. And then I'm just gonna crumble my bacon on top of it. I'll give a little bit to the dog. This dog will look bacon. Slap that guy down. And the egg, you can crack it on here. Make a little bit of a mess, but we can dishwash it. Alright, so here's the key. You gotta poke a hole in the yolk. Then you put the top guy on. Don't press it down. Just set it in there. Then drop the top, and we're going to set the timer for five minutes. And then we're just going to let her go. And that should be when it's done. Alright, so while that's cooking, let's just add up our calories. Use my little my fitness pal app. Check out the bagel. One muffin, or not muffin, one bagel, one English muffin. So we got 140 calories. Add that in there. Cheese says the serving size is three slices. Now we used two. But, just to make it easy, I'm just going to count it as two. So I can scan that in with my fitness pal. So I'm going to say three slices, that's 110 calories. And got my cage-free eggs because I don't want chickens to be damaged, beat up. Should get free range, but they didn't have that. Alright, so we're scanning this guy. 70 calories. 
bacon. It says there's four slices as one serving. I only use two slices, so again, yeah, going to be less calories than that. So you're looking at 400 calories. Less than that, really, because it's uh, there you go. You got 28 carbs, 22 grams of fat, 23 grams of protein, but the fat is going to be lower because I only have half the bacon and a portion of the cheese, right? So that's really not bad for just a sandwich. That's going to be my entire breakfast. Uh, I'm definitely not going to eat these muffins afterwards. Only going to eat this healthy egg sandwich. Pseudo healthy egg sandwich. All right, so we got 1.5 minutes left. The second counter, that's good. So, like this is, I don't want to put my hand on there and hold it, but it's warm, but it's not going to burn my fingers off. So, this is okay. This is okay. This little guy's okay. And this piece is okay, but this circular area is going to get hot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no way to turn this off. I think you just unplug it when it's done. On the direction set, if you're going to make a second sandwich, wait two more minutes before you put it back. Alright, so we got a little beep action. Alright, so here's where you open this up. Alright, I'm going to unplug it because that noise is annoying. I guess I can do that. Alright. So here's where you use your little slider guy, right? Slide this guy around. Pick the top ring up. Now you got your little sandwich. I'm gonna slide this over. Got my plate right next to it. And slide them right off because it's hot. All this circle stuff's hot. So don't touch it. Just gonna unplug it. Check out our sandwich, right? So you can see all the steam wafting off. It's hot. Right. Yeah, it's supposed to be hot. All right. Cheese is all melty. Bacon still crisp. And normally I don't cut this thing. I just eat it. I let it cool down, of course, but just. <laughs> So you can see how well that egg cooked. Uh, just cut this guy. Still hot. So the egg's pretty much perfect. Right through there, right? It kind of bonds with the English muffin. So you can see the bottom's cooked just fine. Top's cooked great. This is a weird shaped English muffin, so it kind of burns the top a little bit. Normally it won't do that. But yeah, pretty perfect. So, for all of you that were just dying to know what I eat for breakfast, there you go. Just clarify, I know no one cares what I eat for breakfast. But, I've had this machine, like I said, the old one, the metal stuff. Uh, the non-stick coating got a little weird, so I threw it out. It's only 20 bucks, so I bought a new one. I've had one of these for probably two years. And I tell people about them all the time because it's a super simple way to make a breakfast sandwich. Tastes great. It's relatively healthy. It's pretty cheap. And when, generally when people tell, you know, generally people want to know about it when I tell them about it. They're like, what is that? And they start asking about it. So, this is a way to show you. Alright, that's it.